What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Daily Manchester City transfer updates until the end of the transfer window. It's transfer deadline day tomorrow. Aiming for 14,000 subscribers by the close of play tomorrow once that window slams shut. So, we've got a big push. We're now less than 350 subscribers away from that. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. The continued effort and support that I've received this summer has been phenomenal. Can we get that last push? 14,000 subscribers. If we can, I'll be absolutely ecstatic. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Pressing that red button is free, by the way. Um, pressing the bell will uh, notify you for when I do upload, as I'll give you the news first and fast. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos, or any general business inquiries and also don't forget leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video aim it for 500 likes any help towards that would be much appreciated and don't forget most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers so let's crack on with this video we're going to start off with an update big update by the way on Eric Garcia. Now, this has developed a little bit over the last 24 hours. Um, Albert Roge, um, or Roger, I imagine it'd be pronounced, of Sport in Spain, has said that Manchester City are preparing at this moment in time for the exit of Eric Garcia, but they are waiting for Barcelona to up their bid. It was been reported uh, that Manchester City want 15 million euros for Eric Garcia. I'm not sure that we'll be uh, selling so cheap. I reckon City will be pushing towards, like I said, 18 to 20 million euros uh, if a bid goes in by transfer deadline day. It may well be enough to get this transfer done. If Barcelona don't, I don't think this transfer will get done. Uh, I've got a little bit of a development on a bid, so we'll speak about that. Now, Hagrid FCB, reliable source uh, at Barcelona, who has also followed me on Twitter, so thanks very much, Hagrid. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but he's, he's saying that uh, Barcelona, they are now going to up their bid they're going to up it to 15 million euros that's going to be the whole deal that's going to include bonuses as well Barcelona are still awaiting on the departure of Todibo Borussia Dortmund apparently are interested in signing signing him and have entered the race to sign him along with Fulham Fulham have agreed a fee with Barcelona for 18 million euros for Todibo Todibo though I'm not sure he wants to leave Barcelona he certainly doesn't it seems want to uh, join Fulham so that's where the struggle is here. Barcelona need that money to up their bid for Eric Garcia. If Tadebo doesn't leave Barcelona, I'm not sure Eric Garcia will be leaving Manchester City to join Barcelona. Now, Hagrid FCB went into more uh, news about this offer, saying that this offer isn't enough for Manchester City. And this morning, uh, Manchester City have rejected that proposal. Now, RAC Uno in Spain have said that the offer was €5 million Euros up front plus 10 million euros in bonuses. That's probably why Manchester City have rejected it. Maybe if they went in with a full 15 million euros in cash, might that be enough? Might that be enough? I imagine City, though, uh, it's believed they're looking for around 20 to 30 million euros. Like I said, Eric Garcia leaving Manchester City hinges on Todibo leaving Barcelona on a permanent basis. Deal agreed with Fulham. Dortmund interested too. If Todibo was to leave Barcelona and join Fulham, if that's done by deadline day, then Eric Garcia can become uh, a Barcelona player as long as they will up their bid to somewhere above €20 million. Euros. It's been described, this deal now, as being complicated. So the deal's having a bit of doubt cast upon it. What's going to happen? There is going to be a big, what, 24, 36 hours in the future of Eric Garcia. Will he remain a Manchester City player by this time tomorrow? Or will he be staying at Manchester City until at least January? I don't think Barcelona will be paying much money at all in January to sign Eric Garcia. They're probably not even going to be willing, willing to go over €5 million. Euros. I'm not sure City will accept Eric Garcia leaving, so he'll leave for free uh, next summer. So these next 24, 36 hours for Eric Garcia are huge in his development for what happens for his future for the next season. Keep your eyes peeled on what happens with Eric Garcia. Now, moving on to the ins, the story we'll speak about yesterday where Duncan Castles has said that Manchester City are looking at strikers. Well, uh, reliable words coming in. Memphis Depay will not be leaving Leon. Edinson Cavani, 
he's going to be joining Manchester United. They're paying um, somewhere around 10 million euros, Manchester United are, in agent fees to sign Cavani. And instead of a 12-month deal, they're putting him on a two-year deal. And he's going to be on a lot of wage as well at Manchester United. It sounds like a Man United signing, if I'm completely honest. So, strikers that we're speaking about yesterday, it seems, as we head into deadline day, not happening. Hussam Hour update. Uh, he's set to stay at Lyon. Arsenal are struggling to agree a, uh, a fee with Lyon for Hussam Hour. They're looking for over €50 million. Euros. Real Madrid's name's been chucked out there. PSG's name's been chucked out there. It's believed that neither of them clubs are going to be making a move. Manchester City also will not be making a move for a central midfielder in this window and more than likely in the winter window as well. City are interested in Hussam Hour, but it's nothing more than interest at this stage. So Hussam Alra, he won't be joining Manchester City. Edison Cavani, he won't be joining Manchester City. And Memphis Depay also will not be joining Manchester City. So it takes us, in terms of this window now, straight to left back. What's the situation? Well, um, in terms of Tagliafico, BBC Radio Manchester, they're reporting that it's their understanding Manchester City will not be signing Nicholas Tagliafico from Ajax this summer. That's it for Manchester City. They said it's going to be quiet at Manchester City for the remainder of today and also for tomorrow for Manchester City. They're not expecting any first-team players to leave, so that would include Zinchenko. Um, and they're not expecting first-team players other than the future of Eric Garcia to be sorted out. And they're not expecting any first-team players to come in for Manchester City. So that would rule out Tagliafico. Like I said, it's Garcia's future that needs sorting. So that's the big transfer for Manchester City that needs sorting in the next 24 to 36 hours. The update on that I will be able to give you tomorrow. Will Eric Garcia remain a Manchester City player as of tomorrow? We'll wait and see. What I will say is deals will collapse. Teams will panic in the window. And if Zinchenko has been made available for loan or City will listen to loan offers for Zinchenko, I would not rule out Zinchenko leaving Manchester City. I'm almost certain it won't be a permanent basis, but if a club was to come in with a loan bid for Zinchenko and the promise of first-team football... I'm wondering then, might Manchester City accept that offer? Like I said, teams will be chasing uh, midfielders and defenders and attacking midfielders, etc. And Zinchenko would be an option for a lot of top clubs. That if they don't get their targets by tomorrow, they'll panic. They'll look to the loan market. And if Zinchenko is available, he could leave Manchester City on loan. It isn't that difficult to get a loan deal sorted. Then, if Zinchenko was to leave, might City dip into the market? If, if they are... It's going to have to be done fairly quickly and developments would have to happen either by close of play today or early into tomorrow. And so, social media is the easiest way to stay up to date. We will be back again tomorrow for another transfer update, transfer deadline day special. I'll keep you in the loop though, in the loop, every single step of the way. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, press that red button. Press the bell, put your push notifications on to be notified immediately for when I do upload so you can stay in that loop ASAP. 14,000 subscribers. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Like I said, we're less than 350 away. Big push towards tomorrow and deadline day. Can we get it done? The back in this summer has been amazing. We're very, very close. Can we do it? I firmly believe still that we can get it done. Um, it's stretch. 350 subscribers. It's a lot of subscribers. Firmly believe we can still get that done, though. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links want to keep up to date with things happening so I can tweet things at you and retweet sources so you can stay in the loop as quickly as possible because I will be on social media a lot over the next 24 to 36 hours. Then go and check them out. Links to them in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen, in particular Twitter, so I can keep you up to date with that. Email in the description below, too, if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos, or any general business inquiries. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always interested in what you do have to say. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll be back again tomorrow for transfer deadline day. It seems Man City's going to be quiet. It only takes a moment, though, for things to change in the transfer market. Things go at a rapid pace on deadline day. I'll keep you all in the loop with what's happening there. So I've been JSGC. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.